That's what police believe, that the man actually called 911 so that he could report that he had just hit his wife. That caused a lot of police to rush out here to the 5500 block of McDougal. The police tape is gone this afternoon, but you can see the remains of the window that was busted out, the shattered glass. It really just begins to tell the story of how dangerous this situation this 911 call created. They see the muzzle flash, hear the gunfire. Um, the officers are still in a car at this point. Palmer. Okay, it's shot fire. Home Palmer McDougal. Palmer McDougal. I need units to make Palmer McDougal. Shot fire. Units be advised. We're hanging out the window, second story of the address. That's the chaos police entered just after 10 30 Wednesday night. One of their own shot. Police scrambling to find safety. Meanwhile, the shooter's daughter, according to police, warning them that he was unstable. She stated her father was in a mental breakdown and he was firing shots. And as you know, at this point, the officers did arrive. Um, that family member were able to escape prior to the officer's arrival. But unfortunately, as you already know, the suspect did fire upon our officers. Despite that attack, police clamped down the scene and tried to settle things down quickly. Eventually, that man stopped responding to contact, so they gassed the home, forcing him out, bringing him into custody. There was a period in time where he stated he was going to come out. Uh, the suspect also threatened suicide by a cop. Uh, as you know, we have a, a patient that we use in the Detroit Police Department because we want to resolve these issues peacefully. Peacefully for everyone but the officers themselves. This morning, detectives checked the house, mapped the scene, and even returned back to the crime scene hours later to talk with neighbors all in an effort to figure out how or why this all started. I've been keeping an eye on this home just to see whether the wife or daughter come home so they could maybe shed some light on what was going on last night that led to all this. All that we know right now is what we see here. The remains of that tear gas that was shot into this home that happened around 2.30 this morning, meaning it took roughly four hours to bring this thing to an end after that officer was initially shot. Reporting from Detroit's east side, I'm Matthew Smith, 7 Action News.